Gorenthium has always been an imperial stronghold, serving as the capital of the Anoet sector after the previous capitals rendered uninhabitable. In the course of my investigation into criminal activity, Gorenthium has come up numerous times. It seems the Imperial bureaucrats have a history of bribing the local Imperial officers to turn their attention elsewhere. What interests me about this region is the recent uptick in anti-Imperial sentiment. Protests, once unheard of, have now started and acts of rebellion, both small and large, are on the rise. If I had to take a guess, I'd wager either the rebellion has sent a destabilization agent into the region, strange choice as the area of space is very little strategic value or more likely. The rebels have had a base nearby, and this is a residual effect of it being in the local area. People are the key. Watch what they do and how they act, and people are the clues that'll lead to a swift end to this rebellion. They are the security bridge. I've taken my battle grip to the Rendil system and persuaded the local drive yarns to focus their efforts on Imperial tasks and off the civilian market as a main focus. While they were fairly displeased, I made a few examples of local old dreadnoughts, and it made my point painfully clear. Commander Shed, out. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Captain Shek here, and welcome back to Empire at War, Forces of Corruption. Playing the fantastic mod, Awakening of the Rebellion. Let's look at that cinematic view of the galaxy, shall we? Look at all that green. The Empire's doing not half bad. We've managed to make our way down to the south. Hey, it's Orto Platona. Orto Platonia. Today is the day we're taking, at least I hope we are. Let me look it over. Rendil Shipyards. I've got the fleet stationed over it right now. We've also got Duro that we're like right next to. Let me turn on all things. Uh, <laughs> so the Rebellion has strong opinions on Commodore. Uh, they really think they can take it, and so they've sent a single X-Wing squadron. Let's begin the battle. A single X-Wing squadron to do so. Uh, yeah, guys. Sure. Sure. I believe in you. I think you can do this. Bring it. I wonder where these... I wonder if these ships are being built at a local shipyard that has just, like, nowhere else to go. So they keep sending ships through here. Let's TIE send uh, two uh, fighter wings... Uh, TIE Interceptors? Interceptor squad They're reporting. half strength, right? That's what the F means. I don't know if it's called Fighter Swing. I assume it is. Uh, yeah, instead of a full squadron. Squadron size is only four per. TIE squad Whereas, yeah, in. these are the same thing. TIE's Do I have? In. Who's, who's a normal squadron? squadron? Reporting, sir. And all of you are just wings, huh? Ready. Whoa, they're all even out of the Acclimator? Does the Acclimator not have TIEs? Excuse me, who is this? Oh, hey! At your command. We've got we've got freighters. Protect the freighters long enough to jump allow them to jump to hyperspace. Okay. Uh they don't have a location to ready. go to anymore. Excuse me. Was there was there Enemy a forces ahead? Sneaky update. Order, sir. Eh, eh, for the right Empire. there, right there. Bank in, bank in. TIE Interceptors. No, 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 no. I want to watch the TIE Interceptors go and fight these x wings Nothing more galactic civil war than TIE Fighters and the X-Wings going at it. So freaking epic. Look at the detail, man. Uh, the game came out in... What was it? 06? They might not be able to win this. Let me dispatch... Five squadrons of normal size. Yeah, they're winning it. They're winning it. Okay, it just took them a minute to get the shield down. Just saying, they're substantially outnumbered. Oh, oh, oh! That was the X Wing spit it out of control and detonating. All right, so Commodore's still under our control. We should be able to hold that no problem. I kind of want to give it a space station because they obviously want to take it back, and eventually they're going to show up with something a little bit more oomphy than uh, Tim and his band of misfits. So let's see. Uh. Oh, yeah, I have to invade you still, like, on the ground. I'm blockading you right now because you have a massive army on the ground. That's right. Right, so Rindil. Uh, the ground invasion, this wasn't going to be easy compared to some of the other ones. We've got... Oh, okay. Ground force isn't actually that bad, though the missile troops are kind of... They are heavy synth troop platoon. They are running with, are they rockets or are they missiles? Or ZQ infantry. Huh. Frontline, trained. That's what it says. 
don't know what a ZQ is. Interesting. Uh, they got turbo lasers, though. They got a shield generator. That means all their turrets are going to do more damage. And they've got a... What level of it is it? It's a corporate sector authority base. So we're looking at uh, SP9s. We're looking at TX 130 tanks. Espo walkers. What's the layout look like? So our landing is going to be on the other side of a river. So we'll probably have a couple of river crossings. Uh, I mean, the regulars with artillery support could probably do this. The problem being, we don't have any artillery support in this army. Hey, Vader, we need to borrow. Actually, there might be some finished. I was building some. Let's see. Quat, what have you been building for me? Nothing. Uh, our ground force training was happening at... Oh, I just might not have any. Oh, Faroast. Faroast, take your ground forces. Yeah, I'm really worried that they're going to... Please take your ground forces. Don't have me clicking this a million times. I really want you defended because you're like a giant bucket of money for me right now. And there's almost nothing on the ground to hold you. Yep, there we go. Cool. Yeah, that's 1,300 per turn. Let's not lose that. Uh, oh, yeah, we have to get um, more operatives as well. Firing. Because we've got more corruption problems that we have to deal with. Forever ongoing. Uh, let's see. I thought I ordered. Maybe they didn't finish building at one of our ground force production facilities. I thought I got artillery going at Balmora. I did. Oh, I got an AT-AT going, which takes four in production. ever to build. All right, let's go ahead and get that constructing. Um, yeah, you need reinforcements. Like, I don't trust our ability to win that fight. I wish there was a version of the regular that had really, really terrible, like, anti-armor capability, like close-range rockets or something. I mean, maybe there is with the grunt. That's frag grenades. You guys have no grenades. And then suppression teams have no grenades. No, so there's no, there's no, you have to use stormtroopers. Okay. They don't trust, <laughs> they don't trust regulars with any kind of rocket technology. I mean, yeah, it's probably fair, I guess. I might get your upgrade and start pumping out more Mission rocket ATSTs. Like they rely on the ATSTs. Oh, what you got? Uh, the recon was successful. Our stealth unit did make it all the way over to the eastern side of the galaxy. Um, Klachthor. Good name. Plus three. Imperial defectors. Conquer Ord Montel and retake Jaeger Minor. Before you, if you launch. Okay, yeah, so we need to still do that. And then bring Lord Vader to Hagna. Uh, why? So we can win them over for us. Hongar. Uh, that's what, in the south? I might actually send him down there. Now that we've recently beaten the rebel fleet, I might be able to get away with that. If I knew where that was. Okay, so I edited that out. The music kicked on right when I, <laughs> I edited that out, but I cannot find it for the life of me. So if you know where Hognar is, you let me know in the comments so I can find it as well, because I've been searching for it. Unless it's one of the planets I already control and it's doing that weird, like, you did a planet, you took a planet before the mission was up. Yeah, I don't know about that one. All right, let's resume. Get that construction going. Uh, oh, we're almost done with the shipyards at Corellia. And how are the quad drive yards doing for the rebuild? Uh, it looks like they're actually done. Nice. All right, time to go for the advanced shipyards now. It's such a huge investment. But we'll get those, and we'll start being able to build some interesting stuff. We've got our space tech cracking along. Uh, Y'all, please land for me. Yeah, we need something on the ground at these planets. I need, and I need to dispatch. Hey, you, come with me. Deal with this. Clear for departure. Deal with that. Deal with that. Corlag, train me some more security forces. Recruiting. We need a bunch. Removing corruption. And let's get some actual stormtroopers. Enlisting soldiers. Got to get security on these planets going. We got to bring peace and prosperity to the galaxy. Has advanced their tech level. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure they have. Uh, all right, Quellor, how bad were you off? Can I come over there and take this rebel world? Because this one has a interesting bonus, doesn't it? Let's see, planetary info. No, it doesn't. No, it do What's the income like? 43? It's not great. But it's also poorly defended series of shipyards. It's got, what, one QX platform? I mean, we could just run through this and take... Oh! 
hey, hello. Hello, a little bit of research and almost no ground forces defending it. How, how you doing? Uh, let me get dug in a little bit more. What's the income on this place? Cato Moiety is up to 182. Uh, I could double up. I could go space stations on it. Building started. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, there's my artillery, by the way. That could stay here. Vader, come with me. I have a job for you. I shortly, I shortly will have a job for you. The fleet over at Biss. Uh, actually, the fleet over at Biss is just defending that side, isn't it? I can't really remove you guys just yet. No, not yet. I need my operatives to finish training because we got more racketeering going on. Attack tank copies. Firing. If you would quickly do so. Attack tank, huh? Oh, the ATAT -AT is done. All right. We're still waiting on the artillery. Uh, Balmora, why don't you keep the ATAT -AT for now? I will move. What are you training for me? You're training the artillery that we need. Yeah, you're training the artillery that we need. We can wait. We can wait. Well, while we wait, I can send over Hey, Quant. You should be able to make this for me, right? No, Quant can't do it. Uh, it would be Balmora that could do it, which we're not going to use. What we need is more spies. I need to send out more probes down to the south. I want to know what the situation is down there. Uh, and this obviously shows that I need more production. Oh, uh, what was it? For... Upgrade complete. I'm going to go ahead and put... Oh, I already have. There you are. Yes, Bill Bringy, my other shipyard, has also made two tank companies for me, which is totally going to join the invasion force for over at Rendell. Our new agent is here, which is going to immediately get used to get rid of the racketeering on the planet where I trained them. We've got three minutes and 30 seconds on the space tech. I would wager that the Rebellion is currently rebuilding its fleet. You know what? Bill Bringy. I'm going to cancel those for now. Doran. Get yourself a vehicle production. Bill Bringy and Doran, you guys are going to get turned into kind of production areas. Uh, sorry, Keldor. This is what I'm doing to your world. And as soon as that tank is done, I'll produce some spies. And I will send them north. Security personnel reporting. All right, you're done? We're doing some internal maintenance to the Empire right now. There we go. Yeah, let's head over to Jakku and knock out this smuggling piracy operation. Uh, Duro. You're surprisingly well off. You've got Corellian Destroyers. <laughs> Corellian Destroyers. That's going to be a thing soon. Uh, actually, it might be a thing now. Oh, okay, hang on. All right. So we got the advance because, we remember, we lost the shipyard over a quad drive yard, so I didn't have the opportunity to build the advance till now. We finally have it, and I can make Tectors. So the Tector is a modified Imperial One. The Tector Star Destroyer features a strengthened hull and improved armaments in place of its hangar bay. Sporting a large number of turbo lasers, the Tector specializes in ship-to-ship -ship combat. It needs to be escorted and protected from bombing runs. This might give us the firepower to just brute force our way through the... Uh, is that an ISD-2? Yes! ISD-2 victories for the Ion Cannons. Uh, where's the Goofy ship? Oh, uh, that's a corp. That's a cruiser. These are all capital ships. Yeah, proper. Oh, speaking of constant, yes, Unit do it. In do it. Do it. Uh, we're making the Ton Falk hero character. Uh oh, we can get two of them. What are you? Baron Fell is after Vader, the best pilot in the entire empire. Unit in production. Done. Those are two. We're gonna join Vader's fleet. We're gonna start flushing out Vader's fleet. Wonderful. All right. I would love for some of that artillery to get wrapped up. How's your ground army doing? Oh yeah, we can start moving these security forces out. Sometimes you just have to have a maintenance episode corruption has been where you're removed. digging in and dealing with corruption. 
Receiving location. Tactical battle imminent. Okay, that's a little bit more respectable. That might actually be too much for us to handle. I mean, if I can weaken it, if I can, wow. I love, I love tiny battles like this because they don't see them very often. Uh, if I can weaken the, dead, the Dreadnought sufficiently with bombers, which I don't know I have, unless you count the arcs, which are more like multi-role long distance recon ships command, sir. and annihilate Ready whatever starfighters they have early we might be able to Roger. pull something off you come out here we do have assault missiles but the acclimator isn't exactly known Roger. for its tanking capability or its love of the lighting system in empire war for some reason flashy 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 what's going on there oh this is not good Squadron standing yeah, I don't by. like. I don't think your light, received. dual linked laser cannons are going to be able to pierce any of the shields here. They may have standing us. By. You've got what? Small tor protons, right? Heavy laser, speeding laser, dual laser, two light dual proton torpedo launchers. You, sir, have become the most important. Increase to full throttle. Uh, let's see. Increase the speed by twenty five percent. But weapons fire slower. Okay, in. you're going to be my Ready group two. Orders. We need to weaken the fleets Ready for battle. to the point where Engines we can actually... Activated. Oh, there's no fleet this time. There's Boarding no, um... Roger that. There's no freighter fleet in Commoner. Form up. Die squadron standing by. We've heard there's a rebel patrol in this area. You must locate and destroy them. Waiting orders. Location plotted. They're here somewhere. Yes, sir. I'll start moving the main fleet up now. They're pretty slow. It should take them a Copy. minute. Ion engines prime. We'll know pretty quickly whether or not we're going to be able to weaken them. All right, there we go. So all ties break off and engage the Z-95s. Once he's sufficiently busy, we're going to go for the shield generator. That poor Z-95 squadron. Break off, break off, break off. We're taking too many hits. Get your shields back. Get your shields back. All right, you guys, focus your fire on the screening ship at the front. There's CR-90 up there. And then begin your attack run, Arcs. Whoops. They've begun their bank. Ties are keeping the screeners busy. Let's go ahead and open up our S-foils in attack position and drop torpedoes. Well, they impacted. IPV reporting. Eric, focus on this and engage your ions. You stay in the back. Go ahead and fire. Weapon systems online. And I'm gonna have all of you freighters. Wow, they're just not doing enough to that thing. Can we knock its shields down? As soon as its shields down, I want you to switch targets to the next ship with shields. There you go, switch to this ship. Time to go, we've got the mobility, let's use it. Let's go, engines on. I'm hoping we can pull ourselves out of weapons range with, it, with our poor little Carrick here. Yes, chase us, chase us. Uh, I think we just got the other, yes we did. The other screening ship is down. All units converge on that target. Except for you, you get your shields back. See, this is something that I don't really do in larger battles unless I'm really trying to micro, and I like it in small fights. I wish we had more of them. One of the things that I wish Empire or Awaken the Rebellion had uh, was one of those like testing maps. Navigating. I think that would be really cool. All right, come back around. Or you can like set up battles. Uh, what are you guys firing at? Starboard weapons. Oh, there's a hammerhead still up. There's a hammerhead. He's like right back here. Ready. You we might be able to take him. Battle. You should be able to. Poor hammerhead. Look at that. Uh, Wake of the Rebellion devs are making a Clone Wars mod. Am I the only one stupidly excited for that? So we're gonna have Republic of War getting its remastered release. We're gonna have Awakening of the Rebellion's new Clone Wars mod, right? Separate mod, very exciting. And then we've got Fall of the Republic by Corey's team. So we're gonna have three separate Clone Wars mods. And you're probably thinking, well, you know, why do we need three? Because every one of them plays substantially different. Like if you played Corey's mods, they focus a lot more on just like having bulk fleets, right? And kind of slamming into each other. 
Um, Awaken of the Rebellion focuses a lot more on how weapon types and ship classes kind of interact with each other. So, like, knowing what kind of weapon systems you've got on a ship is really, really important. And it is, to a lesser extent, I think, in Corey's mods. And uh, who knows what Republic of War is going to be like, because they're just remastering the whole damn thing. Uh, Republic of War always had, like, a large yes, scale to it. So, I don't Maybe they'll be able to bring that over if they can do it without without lagging it like crazy. Um, that would be awesome. But, I mean, that, that mod hasn't had an update in ages. There she goes. She's going up. Dreadnought has been destroyed. All that leaves us now... All that leads us now is the hammerhead that literally ran off and he's hyperspacing away. Okay. I think we're going to see that ship again in the future. Let's go. I think my favorite ship class for scale is like the CR 90 hammerhead class because it's it, it le and this is probably just the GM, like, tabletop gamer in me. It's a lot easier to manage, to, like, introduce to your players, and to make it feel like a real place. A Star Destroyer is just so hard to wrap your brain around how big those things are. They're massive. Uh, okay. So, we've got... We held it again. I mean, I'm kind of... They're kind of bugging me to the point where I wouldn't want to take that planet. We were waiting on artillery. I brought tanks down. We have AT-AT -AT support. Reporting. I don't really feel like that's going to be enough to do this. Ready for deployment, sir. Hey, quad drive yards. How are you doing? Oh, that advanced shipyard's almost done. Really? <laughs> hey, Corellia, what's the deal? What's it going to take to get Corellian? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We already have, we just need tier three. Why did I think we need something else? All right, all right, all right. Uh, that reminds me, Bill Bringy, you were supposed to get me fancy. Ah, uh, there we go. Now we're getting into the weird stuff. This is what we need, we need the strike cruiser. This will turn off the enemy shields. This, this stops their abilities from kicking off. Oh, and the gladiator is in here too. So all we need is tier, what, two to get gladiators and get proper, um... Oh, it is, yeah, frigates and cruisers. It's just tier two tech for cor for cruisers. So, <gasps> the Don Falk. Yes! What's your default loadout? Interceptors, TIE Fighters, and TIE Bomber Squadrons. Yes, yes, and yes. Make it go. We need things that make us go. Uh, wow, you're really expensive, and I don't know why I put a shipyard on you. Just get a get some money making, Chindrilla. We're just gonna make money off of Mon Mothma's place. And and go. Uh, why can't I get um cruiser tier three cruisers? Oh, because I'm researching it right now. We're literally waiting on that. Okay, so we've got we've got a lot of fun stuff coming. Uh, I promised myself I wouldn't just rush to invasions today, and I'd actually get ships producing, get the fleet going a bit. Uh, put down some income generators that we desperately need in worlds that have the space for them. Um, which we're not doing bad. We're at 16,000 right now. We could get that a lot higher. We could get that a lot higher. Uh, did I own a detector? Did you build me a detector yet? Let's put this over here. Oh, no, because you're quad drive yards. You literally just got the ability to do that. Yeah, you're going to build me my second detector. And go. Corellia is working on... Uh, well, they're working on a goal in three at the moment, so we are broke. And now we're not. This planet, this planet is dug in. We've got a goal in three, we've got a goal in two, and we've got a hypervelocity cannon. Or a ground planetary turbo laser, excuse me. Uh, is there any more money I can squeeze out of you? Is literally, is there anything else I can put on the ground? Yes, there is. I can get more. We can do better. <laughs> One more. Uh, also, you did get the production center that I put down. So let's get those spies going. Let's land these ground forces to defend us from... This is why I brought you over here. You're the new security d detachment. I might actually hit build cap and have to worry about building um, bases. Planetary bases. Like, Anchin, Anchin, you might be getting this. Population centers. Well, I might as well do it before I need it. I'm gonna give you a population center. Mission log 
I'm gonna give you two population centers, and then I want you to build a security team of TIE Interceptors over there, just in case we get attacked. What do we got? Upgrade a space station. Uh, you want to have a Imperial Medium Dockyard. Our space stations and ground bases are at the backbone of the galaxy's defenses. We need to increase our strength if we are to teach the rebellion that their cause is a losing proposition. Upgrade a star base or strengthen our defenses. Uh, wait. You want it specifically in Malastare and you're gonna give me a TIE, ooh, a Phantom Squadron. Oh, okay. I thought at first I read that as TIE Fighter Squadron. And I was like, oh joy, obviously the rebellion is doomed. We're getting a TIE Fighter Squadron. Uh, Malastare. What the crap is Malastare? Malastare was what? Off in this direction, isn't it? There it is, Malastare, down in the south. Uh, they want me to put a, what was it, was it a medium dockyard? Yeah, Imperial medium dockyard. I mean, I'm not against it. Beginning construction. All right. Go for it. Have at it. Live your best life. You know what, Malastare? You're also gonna get. Building under construction. You're also gonna get that. We'll see how that works out. And to help you defend yourself, I'm broke. But I will probably put this down. Actually, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. If we're gonna put like actual shipyards down on this place, we'll give it some defense. We'll put a um, a planetary turbo laser. They do cost a little money, 187 a week, but sometimes you need a big ass turret. Beginning and construction. go. I'll give you a base upgrade later. Ah, that's gonna make you an expensive planet. All right. So, our complete. ground forces at Belmora never built the artillery that I ordered. Constructing <laughs> unit. Constructing unit. I need artillery, please. Oh, you did build it. You did build it. I lied to you. Come here. You are the new ground force. We are ready to invade. Let's get Rendil going. Ground troops are on the way. So I have started, while we wait for the artillery to arrive, I have started the campaign uh, for my custom large-scale tabletop strategy game where every player, every unit on the board is run by a player in the community. And I expected, I didn't advertise it or anything, 25 to 50 uh, players, maybe, from just the Armco Discord. 170 people signed up. 170 people are now dropping, hot dropping on the world of Haven, which is full of bugs. But yeah, that's the story right now. We're a mercenary company. Uh, it's epic. It's epic and crazy and I love it. And the chat in that, that section never, never stops. Now, I had to close signups because, you know, I've got to, I've got to, wait, are we not? Can we, can we, can we go? Eh? Eh? Can we? There we go. We got it. Got there in the end. Um, we, I had to close signups, so they are closed for now. But it's, it's insane. This is the first test run of the, of the rule set and how we're going to do customization and, you know, get, make the, Everybody feel unique for their characters, and ah, uh, it's cool though. Uh, let's. I do like using my rags. Let's bring in some rocket troops. We'll keep this a regular army, as in we're only going to use Imperial uh, troopers, not like stormtroopers. Let's get some suppression. Let's get a support team. Let's get a unit of artillery, a unit of artillery, and then nothing says regular like the cheapest tanks in the galaxy. Um. Oh. Oh. Okay. He's he's such an easy unit to lose though. But this army is gonna have air support. I think I think this is the only set of lats that you can get as the Empire. I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. Let's go secure that. Send three squads that way. Send them with a medic. Let's get this army like spread out and mixed up. Yes, sir. Ready to go. Attack tank copy. Attack tank copy. Awaiting orders. Always ready, sir. We've captured an abandoned mining facility. Turret constructed. Quit. Free credits. Whoop! Artillery saw somebody. Reporting. Ready for command. That fixed that problem. Oop. Let's get just this unit here. Go ahead and move up here. All lights are green. Main cannons charged. 
And now I'm not using these for their build thing on the back. I'm literally just using them for their, their um, quad linked turrets. All right, so they've got dual, twin dual um, blaster cannons on the sides and then one in the center. Yeah. Uh, what in the world? Are you kidding me? What is this world? I get a sensor relay in the back on the invasion. We got lats, by the way. Yeah. No wonder they're like, let's do a Clone Wars mod because we have all the models and stuff already. Ready for orders. We got Venators, we got Acclimators. They have like the bulk of it. Um, I, and I think most of the Separatist stuff is actually in the Black Sun army. What'll be interesting is the balance and how they set up like weapons and whatnot. All right, so what do we got? Well, we have a floating building in the distance. No, it's over water. Okay, it's over water. Uh, we have, oh, it looks like they've already managed to dig in with anti-vehicle turrets. They have a shield generator in the back, so those turrets are gonna hit pretty hard. Uh, and I do not have a bombing run yet. We're still reloading aboard the carriers in orbit, so we will. Wait, there's something down in the south. We have a mercenary outfitter. Let's get in there and let's gear that right away. Load it up, we're moving out. You join up with them. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Artie, go ahead, move up. Artie, move up, you can fire over the hill there. Armor. All right, they're loaded. Are you free unit or are you just a unit that I sent too far away? Yes. Oh, the door's open too. Nice. <laughs> nice. Um, I need to go back and play Fall of the Republic. It's been a bit since I played that one. I mean, he's had a couple of updates. Uh, I think it recently, like like last week or something, had an update as well. I don't know if we're going to be able to drop here. That's for taking a lot of fire. Go ahead and drop. Drop. Get back in the air, get back in the air, get back in the air. I love that they don't need to be in the air to fire. Close your doors, close your doors, close your doors, close your doors, close your doors. That whole ground unit was dead before they got off the transport. But you know what? It's mission accomplished. Come on, get up. Heading out. Come on. Destination ahead. Yes, Commander. Lat? Let's move out. Lat, are you good? What are your orders? Are we good, team? Ready. There you go. Okay. Let's go. Landing landing stuff is always such a pain. Alright, we're moving up. Roger that. Scouting. Ready for command. Oh wow, those lats are slow. Those lats are so slow. Did they already get the mercs? Oh yeah, they did because they were sitting on top of it. Ah, oh, lame. They already got it. Let's pop another. I'm gonna make you a group. Let's make you a group one. Do another scan. It even makes a noise. We should be able to walk right up this actually. The only issue might be the turbo laser tower, and that—that's a capturable turbo laser tower. All right, squad. I have a—I have a job for you. Head over towards that bunker. See if you can. Um, See if you can take it. I need to know, and I want you guys to make your best speed out of the water, because this kind of sucks. Talk about the perfect time for an orbital bombardment. Uh, they do own the the bunker's empty. Switch your fire to the turret. I want to capture the bunker. In Star Wars D-Day here with these Imperial troops running up the beaches. Let's go. Turbo laser is online. Ground forces have confirmed the turbo laser is active. That is not good. Uh, yeah, we're gonna hold up and we're gonna have to thin that off. We're gonna have to kill that. Get in the bunker. And you guys. Bombing run dispatched. Yes, I see the anti-air, but I think we'll be okay unless there is a flat cannon and there is a flat cannon, but we're on the edge of it. We might be able to get through it. No, no, too many, too many. The flak was too heavy. The unit couldn't get through. Well, thankfully the artillery is actually doing some serious damage to it. Hey, Artie, you don't need to get any closer than that. Hold your position. Actually, not only hold your position, go ahead and brace yourselves. Armor, head over here. We pushed up to the edge of the beach. What are we arting right now? We're hitting it. We're hitting it. We're just going to have to wait until the artillery gets the job done. 
But hey! Oh, yes! No, get in there. Get in there, infantry. Uh, I'm totally not sending you in so I can get a free build cap. So that we can do this. So we can hot drop right into the fight. And use the... Use the weapon systems on the aircraft to help us out. Our armor has engaged on the beach. I'm putting down a repair center? Artillery, please fire at this. Stop switching your fire. There you go. Now you're on it. Now you're on it. They blew it up. Build it again. We're building a repair station. Ground forces. Getting, yeah, getting grenade range. Push up, push up, push up. That's our wave that just landed off the transports. <laughs> push up the beach, men. We have to take the hill. Somebody bring up the Bangalores. How's he already doing? You guys have done great. Now that the turbo laser is down, we can move up the rest of the ATSTs. <laughs> There's one in the back repairing the other two. Oh, uh, fantastic. And look at those turrets. Those things don't screw around, man. Like, for cheap tanks, they've been wildly effective. All right, you guys go ahead and move up and attack move as you go. Let's go ahead and soften them up. Right there. Give me the bombardment. We spent a day and a half charging up that beach, and by the time we made it to the top, Orbital decided that we took too long and started shelling the position. Welcome to the Imperial Army. All right, we need to go a little bit closer. And then they ordered us to move in during the bombardment. They said it would act as cover. <laughs> oh, man. Moving to coordinate reporting right away. The lesson is, don't join the Imperial Army. Firing on that position. How are we doing? Not well. Uh, not well. Unless we get more grenades on target, we're pretty much dead. Or, we get a bunch of rocket-laden ETSTs to jump into the front line. Just you guys spread out so we don't take AOE damage. I wish there was a way for them to make their area, their walking area, a little bit bigger, but I assume they're, they're like that. They clip into each other because it helps with them just the way they move around on the battlefield. Uh, pop your ability. Settle in. Engage. Infantry. You're doing great. You guys are doing great. And your rocket troops, too. So let's get that rocket fire spread out a little bit more. There's the rockets away. Doing good damage. Artillery has decided to continue to walk and not support. Let's, um, give me your rounds. Rounds out. Oh, you're hitting him right into a wall. Okay, we're gonna have to put you over here. And this is why terrain is important. They're holding okay. I could bring in the lads, but there's, no, there's flag. All right, come on in. We're moving. It's such an Imperial thing. That's basically winning battles with your wallet. You build turrets in the field. Let's switch fire. We've got an anti-infantry turret that's giving our, our infantry a real hassle right now. Can we um, get rockets on that? And then once the RD makes it up here, yeah, it starts shelling the base. Armor's here, boys. You know what the Empire's missing? They're missing, and I know some of you will say the TX, which I don't know. The TX is fine, but it's too much like the Saber tank to be its own thing. It's missing a main battle tank that isn't just a walker. You know, it isn't just this. Like, I love the at, -AT but it's not good for all scenarios, right? What do you mean unit destroyed? What do you mean? Copy. Who's losing units? I copy. Armor's still up. That's their walkers have been destroyed. I don't know what that was. How much damage do you do to this at that range? What if I move you closer? Seems fine. Honestly, the the ATSTs can take this out with like one salvo. Let's go. Oh, they have a shield generator still. That's why their turrets are doing so well. All right, attack move. Move up here. But they need something like, like Mfi. 
with a big cannon, like a big la turbo laser cannon. Something that you could drive down a city street. Acknowledged. I don't know if a scout walker would be something I'd qualify. Something scary. Because what we've seen is like, you got this. But what would you call this? It's ba it's like a like a flatbed truck. <laughs> they slap some guns onto. All right, that's not good. I need you to switch targets. They built a turret and it's doing a terrible, terrible number to us. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Bombers are on the way. Artillery, what are you doing? Oh, you're taking out infantry on that side. That's fine. We lost another piece of armor. Let's fall back with this. Our walker has arrived to the battlefield. Man, the ATSD is good. Like, I could see the Empire with something as messed up as like a, like a, like a, man, especially an Imperial style, something like a Starcraft siege tank that you could deploy. Just something that should show off. Since they've been flushing out a lot of the in-between vehicles in Star Wars over the last like five to 10 years. Where we got, um, uh, like, like the Hammerhead is another great example of like a small gunship, not even gunship, Corvette style vessel. Good God, there's so many of them still. What were they doing over here? They split their force. There's that anti-air I was worried about. Uh, their turret system is still online. Let's get the rest of the artillery over here to deal with this. And I'll bring in, uh, as soon as you guys kill that. Oh, there's the flak. Oh, no, I will not bring in anything. Uh, let's bring in the AT. On my way, sir. Yes, sir. And a bunch of infantry to throw grenades and stuff. I don't want to bring in the stormtroopers. I want a nice, good sized like Coming army out. of stormtroopers ready to go. Ready. Uh, it's, it's just off. a defense turret. Walker, Help them here. Ready to Why do they send us? The artillery should be arriving shortly. Attack that target. There we go. We've got this weird little tank. You know, they just added that in Rebel, in Rogue One, which in my brain wasn't that long ago, but I guess was actually quite a while ago. They've Reporting still got in. more infantry roaming the map. They've got the shielded Espo soldiers. Right here, team. Awaiting orders. And they've got a tank. Yeah, take out the thank you. Always ready, sir. Roger that. Can you please deal with the remaining? Thank you. We've got like open topped artillery now because of Solo. Like every movie they've introduced a new vehicle. That being said, I haven't seen, uh, but Ahsoka's later in the timeline, so it really wouldn't count. I haven't seen Ahsoka yet. We've got a TIE fighter that lands because of Mandalorian. What do you mean I lost those guys? The lats that were fine in the back of the map? Okay. Did they run in during the battle and I didn't see it? Well, so much for having lats. That's all right. We get better versions of the lat a little bit later on. Uh, we get the, I mean, we get the Imperial version of the lat, which is really cool. All right. Let me see if he's actually dead. That was down here, right? Where was that battle just now? I've not had my coffee. Rendil. Rendil. Yeah, no, it totally killed that guy. I put him in the bottom of the map. He must have roamed up and gotten swacked by flag. Like I said, super easy to lose. Oh, well, let's <laughs> So Rendil drive yards, you're really important because I can put a shipyard down here, um, but also you can be a heavy production center for heavy vehicles. So we're gonna do that. And we're gonna put down a bunch of Imperial. Uh, we're just gonna speed that up as much as we can. You know what? We'll also get a barracks. Building we're gonna turn started. you into a production house. With sped up production. Let's go. I'm here for this. Production house, shipyards, really dig in. Uh, oh, where, where was it chat was talking? The comments were talking about me taking a very particular planet. It could be super useful. Uh, we need more operatives again. Firing. Just keep training operatives. Just never stop. Didn't, they took Champala from me. The other thing that we still need to do is continue to gather. Oh, Malastair. What was your deal? Oh, it was it upgrade the space station, which it's still working on. Yep. 
almost done though and we'll have that mission accomplished good because our fear level is going to go up and that means we can get some interesting uh destroy shipyard missions hopefully soon hey alderon can i mine you for anything else no okay balmora balmora i love that you're still making a profit 17 credits a turn good for you Let's get you a Imperial Manufacturing Prison. This will up our build speed by 33%. I'll cancel one of those artillery pieces. Uh, oh, oh, it's done. It's done, it's done, it's done. The, eh, uh, where are you? Belbrigi, right? So, oh, we need to get, we need to get the next tier. So we've got Golan Star Destroyer, or sorry, Gladiator, excuse me, Gladiator Star Destroyers. These will get Strike and Picket mix. A versatile cruiser designed to escort larger ships. The Gladiator can rapidly deploy its fighter loadout and use its laser defense systems to support the fleet. Its accurate armament is effective against corvettes, frigates, and to an extent starfighters. However, it lacks the firepower and durability to take on cruisers and capital ships. So, to an extent, but what it, the thing is a little, little like tiny battle carrier. It's like half the size of a uh, of a Venator. It's got that center that's just nothing but hangar space. It's very cool. Now, for somebody who couldn't decide exactly what their role was, they took this. Uh, it does get bombardment too, and tractor beam, huh? You get bombardment. You get bombardment, but you don't get bombing runs. But you're a, but you're a strike carrier, huh? I guess they had to choose one or the other, and that's the one they chose. Fair enough. Uh, medium armor with a hull of 5,000, shield of 4,500. It's squadron complement are two TIE Brutes, one TIE Bomber. But it has burst assault missiles. Oh, oh yeah. Not, not bad. And then we've got our tender. Yeah, fleet tender. The Star Galleon. This thing can drop turrets, if I remember correctly. Let's see. Primarily deployed defense of Imperial Space. They can release temporary satellite turrets to fortify positions against incoming fighter attacks and also carry repair drones able to patch up damaged ships. We'll build a fleet tender to join our carrier group. Uh, and we'll get... Oh, look at you, Vindicator. A monitor cruiser. The v cruiser. It's it's very small for a cruiser. The Vindicator was designed uh, with the intention that it would replace the Dreadnought as the Imperial Navy standard multi-role cruiser. Like, wait a minute. Whoever looked at the Dreadnought and said this is a multi-role cruiser? Pretty sure it only has one role. Maybe two. One, eat up most of your freaking build cap because it's huge crew that it takes to run the thing and two be old slow and big and take hits like the dreadnought in reality it's less multi-role than planned oh <laughs> well all right fair enough fair enough awaken the rebellion awaken the rebellion developers you guys kind of yeah it's, it's, yep in reality uh let's see it's less multi-role than planned and the vinegar functions as a long-range fire sports ship it can easily eliminate enemy cruisers and damage capital ships but it has relatively weak armor and shielding so it's a bigger, um, uh, it's a bigger, uh, acclimator. Aquintance, excuse me. It's a bigger acquaintance. Yeah. Interesting. Not really my problem right now. Oh, there she is. There's my baby. The Lancer. I've been hearing terrible things about you. Nine repeating dual lasers. Constructing unit. Basically, she's bristling with tiny guns. And the second a starfighter gets within firing range, it just swacks it. We'll build a couple of those, though I've been hearing mixed mixed reviews on this. We'll see how it goes. Let's go ahead and pause. I'm very excited about my, um... Oh, you know what? Let's go slow spy on Iridonia again. I want to know what the Iridonians are up to. I think we're going to send a secondary fleet up here. Because I want to I want to connect that unit. Uh, what you got? Mission accomplished, and you gave me my, my TIE Fighters, right? The TIE Phantoms? Okay. TIE Phantoms. You guys are the weird cloaky ones, right? Scout Interceptor, developed by Grand Admiral uh, Mardio Batch. The TIE Phantoms were modified V-38 assault fighters that are equipped with rare Stygium Crystal cloaking devices, allowing them to carry out stealth reconnaissance missions. They have to be larger than a typical TIE in order to house the special equipment required, but they feature a good array of weapons and defensive measures or fight off enemy fighters to the event of being detected. They have three medium lasers and they have one repeating laser. Hmm. Margin size of six. They have seeker warhead countermeasures. Seeker warhead countermeasures. I want to say those are AOE countermeasures. And co-pilot range boost. Passives. 
Seeker Warhead counter range. No, I think those are when they get targeted by a, uh, a missile. I think they immediately launch countermeasures. That's what I think happens. Oh, and now Huda can make these because it's Sinar fleet systems. So if I ever get my hands on Enraxis Prime, I might be able to just make these. Great. I probably never will. Uh, not really my thing. Variants on the TIE Fighter. <sighs> yeah. Tactical battle Good to know, though. Good to you. Holy crap. Baskets. Ah, oh, first the Rebellion. Now the Black Sun. They've already cut me off. That's a hell of an invasion force. Bring it, I say. With your Black Sun operative bounty hunter armor. Bring it. We've got this. I actually should have looked at the battle map. Why didn't I do that? Now I'm spread to the winds. Reporting. Oh, this doesn't look that bad. Oh, Reporting I've got out. strikers? Yes, yes Commander. Oh. <laughs> Ready. Yeah, you guys go up here. Not the best squadron. map for strikers, I don't think, but... Roger. And you ties, go ahead and launch. Uh, let's take a look at the battle map. Uh, we have regular stormtroopers. Looks like this is a pathway through down the road. Ooh, interesting map. They're landing in the north, but they've got to go through the city streets to get to us. Oh, look at all the TIE fighters. Whoa. There's an update coming out really soon that's adding a bunch of maps and stuff and some new AI adjustments, which is very exciting. Let's get over here and see if there's anything that we can capture and hold. While our stormtroopers back here, I'm going to send one of you. Let's go ahead and pause. Advancing. One of you back here. One of you back Hold here. Out. Go, 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 go. Split up. Not all of you. Just order. want one team. We need to get these defensive turrets online. Uh, our TIE fighters, group two, head on back here. And that's why the TIE fighters uh, are kind of terrible for ground defense and ground attack. They let you build them because it's cool to do so. Uh, but what they do is they stack. So every time you get a, a, a building upgrade on this, you just get more, which is quite cool. Yeah, let's get all this locked in. You guys can counter. You can guys fire back. Let's grab the big turret. Don't let him shoot it, please. Don't let him shoot it, please. And then let's grab some anti-infantry work. And then I need you guys. Stormtroopers need to hold the actual line this time. Roger. Grab this turret. Grab it, grab it, grab it, and run. Now, they're probably an argument for getting anti-air. You know what? I am going to grab anti-air back here. Ow! Run. And let's spread you guys out because they might have... Are you rocket variants? I don't think you are. No, you're not. That's okay. They're open top. Grenades will suck for them. Be great for me. Give them the thump thump. They're open top. Yes! That's what I like to see. Okay, we have a lot of death coming our direction. This looks like a prime target if I've ever Copy. seen one. Uh, ooh, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna play this safe. Copy. You're group Tie two, you guys are group one here. already. The special ability on this is the proton bomb shoot, which I am totally happy for it to use on automatically. Acquiring Let's go I copy. cause some havoc. The and the next thing we're gonna do is send in copy. immediately. Let's get you over Any here to out. start delaying them so maybe we can get a, uh, a spo. Hey! Yes, that. We need it. You guys? Reporting. Head on over here. Let's move out. Yes, we need that. Uh, you know what? I'll send these guys to, to give you a hand, too. So, we want the proton bombs. We want the TIE fighters to go in first, Reporting. though. So, if there's any anti-air, the, the normal TIEs eat it while the strikers move in. Here we go. Air power's in the route. Please tell me you're smart reporting. enough to use those proton bombs. Advancing on target. Use it, use it, use it, use it, use it, use it, use it. Does it have to be a ground unit? Like... Strikers are taking damage. They haven't dropped their proton bomb shoots, and I'm not quite sure why. Maybe they do need a ground force target. Maybe they need, like, a vehicle target. Let's fall back. Go ahead and fall back. I need you guys to delay them. I need you to fall back and not be primary target. Order acknowledged. Just give me a talk. I need you over here to pop smoke. You come over here and uh, give them, no ammunition. Yeah, pop their ammunition buffs. Do not pop your ammunition buff. You popped your ammunition buff. 
Don't pop your ammunition buff. Sometimes I think I need to turn that off. Okay. Uh, what do we got up here? A lot of vehicles. Um, I don't want to move in. Let's get the ties now. Start to harass this. Because they're starting to push around and we don't want that. We're going to grab a lot of anti-vehicle weapons. Uh, or anti-infantry weapons back here. And then the rest of you in the middle come with me. Build it, build it, build it, build it. It needs to be anti-infantry. Anti-infantry. Infantry. Let's go. Let's go. We're stopping them here. Walkers fall back again. We poke and run. Poke and run. Okay, we got ground vehicles. Let's tie them out. Back order has been given. They've dropped their bombs. Now fall back immediately. Bombs are away. Look at that ground support. That's what I wanted to see. Guys, keep harassing this group here. You keep popping that. Grenades, you're looking okay. Let's go ahead and hit him again with the grenades. And then you guys need to desperately be spread out. Now we can stop them from coming this direction with a anti-infantry turret. Regular ties, how are you doing? Regular ties, fall back and get repairs. Same with you guys. Come on over here. We need to spread your unit out. Just don't be their primary engagement. You're one of my best. Like, that right there is real bad. You need to fall back. This unit. Get your cover. If you can, kill that for me. Strikers. Wow, good positioning for my strikers. Okay, we've got incoming bombs. Our bop tanks. Tanks. Fall back, fall back, fall back. Sadly, our repair center. So next time, if you're ever on this planet, you you also invested in this. Put it in the corner. If I had this up in the corner right now, man, I could be getting repairs. I could be sending them back to base. It'd be really cool. Let's get you down here. <gasps> you don't say. Um, they're going to have bombing runs soon. I know this is super exposed, but that might shut the bombing run down. And could save me. Could actually win this battle. Yeah, you guys need to fall back. You need to use that bomb. Come on. I'm worried that you're not using those bombs. Pop your ability? We're still in big trouble. The amount of infantry... Oh, they're good infantry, too. There's the Rodian Hunters. Let's get some grenades on those. And then, hey, can you take out this vehicle for me? My strikers have just decided that they don't work anymore. So... <laughs> we need to take out this this armor. Who's low? You're low. No, he, the turret will kill him. Switch your targets to that target. You guys spread out. Let's get some mechanics. Fall back, 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 fall back. Fall back, fall back. Fall back. I don't expect you to repair him by much, but at least by a little. There's so many units in the field right now. Right, what did we get? What did we get? Oh, we got... Oh, look! Oh, man! I haven't seen these in ages! The Centurion... Oh, wait, the Century Tank. Oh, I thought you were the... um. A reworked version of the vanilla. What the hell are you? Let's see. The Sentry Tank is a desperate attempt by the Imperial Remnant to create a cheap yet effective tank without the production capabilities of the Empire. To achieve this, part of the Time Fighter and, and tracks were welded together. Uh, and what do you get? Speed boost? Of course, you get like power to engines. That's so funny. Don't blow that up. I need you though. That's horrifying. That is, I love that it's, it's, it's a joke. It looks like a joke and it basically is a joke. Get in there. All right, we are gonna re-engage. Um, we're in this fight. Like there's no, there's no getting out of this. Yes, oh, sir. You're still not using your bombs, huh? Doesn't matter though. Your normal ground support weapons are just doing fantastic. Yeah, dig in there. The ones that have just arrived, go ahead and dig in. Your range sucks, so we actually do have to push forward. All right, our new random reinforcements are here. We're moving in. Can you? You already got it, nice. Light them up. 
This was their battle to lose. The back, the black zone is under full retreat. Oh, I wanted to get a screenshot of that. Oh, what? I only lost one trooper platoon. That's because those stormtroopers were holding the line at the turret. That entire fight. Oh, that stings. I like that planet. That was the right planet to dig into. Let's move some stuff around real quick. That was, yes, I'm, I'm, I so approve of my choice to do that. I had no idea. Uh, okay, so you can move here and you can move here. I'm able to do this while it's paused. Is that, has that always been a thing? And then we move a unit as close as we can to this, which would probably be here. And we, we haul, double time it up here. And we lock that down. You here, you here. We can get these turrets down really, really quickly. I like the idea of having the barracks, but maybe a little bit closer. Uh, Yeah, that actually looks pretty good. Even more so, let's swap you guys. And then I can move you here. That way I can go turret, 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 turret. I won't be able to grab these in time, I don't think. Uh, and there's no reason for you to be back that far. So join us on the front line. I like this planet. Is there a space open? Oh, there is. I can make this even more difficult to take. Uh, I mean, honestly, this would make it more difficult to take. Oh, but I can put a moth palace on here and make it my fortress world. It also makes me money. It is making me bank right now. Hmm. If we sold the barracks, I could put a shield generator down. Actually, if we sold this, let me know. What should we do? Should we turn this into just like, it's already pretty fortified. I don't think they can take it. I mean, unless they got through that infantry I had. Do we fortify it even more and I sell our, our governor's palace? Or do we have it actually make money? Put a moth palace on it and be like, bring it. This is the moth's home world. This is our stronghold. And then, uh, I don't know, what else I'd put on it? Maybe a, maybe a manufacturing plant and start producing medium vehicles. We could even start training stormtroopers. We could build we could build the invasion force that takes the rest of the galaxy on this side from uh, this world. Or Centauris. We could also bring reinforcements to Centauris if I start training stuff here. Ah, uh, possibilities. All right, everyone. Thank you for joining me. I will catch you all in the next episode. Later, everybody.